For many farmers and herdspeople living in remote Inner Mongolia, China, grid electricity is a distant dream. For years, they have relied on kerosene and candles for lighting. Before the PV system, we only had a candle and lit an oil lamp, but now I can do housework and watch the TV at night. Now watching TV, I feel connected to the world and it's not so lonely up here. Now large and small companies are providing solar power systems for light. The now thriving industry has been kick-started across the country's remote regions by the Renewable Energy Development Project, REDP, a collaboration between the Chinese government and the World Bank. At the HQ in Jinin, western China, Wu Dacheng is giving local manufacturers of home solar power the lowdown on sales across China. Photovoltaics is natural technology, but REDP's task is to commercialize the technology because the cost of the whole system is quite high, and we use technical improvements to save energy to improve the quality and reduce the costs. Our EDP has helped install over 400,000 solar home systems by improving manufacturing standards and providing subsidies to distributors. The industry is becoming self-sufficient, with companies now producing a variety of high-quality and good-value systems from home portable to larger units for the cities. But before our EDP, it wasn't easy. The company was established 10 years ago, and at the beginning, the main problem was that the end user didn't understand anything about solar power. They didn't believe it could deliver electricity. So we explained how it worked and how long it would last. There are many portable systems for different needs. Each system can run two lights, a radio and a phone charger. Larger systems can run a cassette or DVD player or a TV. REDP has also funded the development of innovative technologies. The products are sold in far-flung towns like Siziwangui in Inner Mongolia, where local distributors like Zhangjiang make systems available to herdsmen. Before, the people used candle and oil. They now use PV. I've sold 49 solar home systems so far in this area. The farmers pay 1,200 yuan, or 90 pounds, for the smallest system, the equivalent of 10 sheep. Now the solar light enables me to help with the birth of lambs at night. It's much easier all round. Nomadic yak herders move with their animals throughout the year, and PV systems can even bring safe, bright light to their tents. Solar lighting is safer and healthier than kerosene. REDP is confident that the systems will become cheaper as the market grows. There are 1.6 million people who have benefited from photovoltaic energy units here. Before PV was used, it was often difficult when the family got sick to call a doctor. Now with this energy, the doctor is only a phone call away. It's also convenient to store medicines in the fridge if someone is ill. As solar becomes mainstream throughout the world, programs like REDP can help those in remote areas who need it most to benefit from the technology. Now, because we have electricity, if something urgent happens, like if there's a need to call our daughter or we need to pick up a car to go to hospital, it's very convenient. High up in a Tibetan region of Qinghai province, this monk runs the shop in Kao Duo village on behalf of a nearby monastery. The village school too now has electric light thanks to the photovoltaic panels. REDP has already made a difference to the lives of the rural poor, but after the funded program ends, its power looks set to live on as a trade association backing solar. 
we'll continue our work by developing our association and provide more information and support to develop the market, not only domestic but also international users who need this cheap technology.